Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup inventory for the first time because I have never tracked any of my makeup products besides my eyeshadows. So this is going to be interesting, but also it's not going to be like, you know, a lot of surprises for me. I don't have a lot of makeup, like I'm not a makeup holder. For example, I do not have a lot of foundations or face products. I have quite a few of lip products, but not over the board. But still, I am so excited to be tracking it and maybe just start incorporating them in like different projects. If you are interested in checking out what I have in my makeup inventory, just keep on watching. Also, I'll be doing this video in like two different sections. Uh, in this first part, I will be just talking about my, like all of the makeup products, except eyeshadows, because I think if I include eyeshadows in here, like this video is gonna be much longer. Again, I do not have like tons of eyeshadow palettes. It's just like I have a decent amount of them. But before we get into the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do a lot of project panning. I especially pan eyeshadows, but now I'm trying to like incorporate other products into my panning projects as well. I'll be switching to the overhead view to talk about the products that I have. Currently, I only have two primers in my collection. I don't use primers a lot, so I have not used this primer like even once. I might have used it once or twice maybe, but yeah, I need to incorporate these ones in my routine so the first one is from wet and wild uh, it's called impossible primer the next one is my glam tinted perfection base primer and pore minimizer i mostly use sunscreen or a moisturizer as a primer and the next category is concealers so i have three of them one is from elf uh, hydrating camo concealer setting finish the other one is essence camouflage matte concealer and the third one is the Ordinary Colors Concealer. I only use this one as a concealer, but I don't use concealer every day. These two concealers are like super, super light for me. They just make me look coast-like, so that's why I just don't use them. I have started using this concealer as my eye primer, so it's been working fine for that purpose. I don't want to keep more than two concealers in my collection. I would love to like go through... I think both of these at some point because I can't really use them as a concealer. And the next category is foundations. I did not use to use foundation a lot. I have recently started getting into the habit of using it more often. The first foundation I have is from The Ordinary. It's almost done. I think I can just get a couple uses from this one. However, I haven't like removed any sort of stopper or anything like that. But yeah, I'm super excited to be calling it done very soon. The next foundation is from Essence. It's pretty natural hydrating foundation. It's nice, but it doesn't give me like full coverage. And it's also like really tacky. But once it's set, it doesn't transfer or it doesn't make the skin very cakey. And I love the product inside of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. But it's pump. It's broken. I read the reviews on Sephora's website as well and I think everyone who has given it like lower rating has said the same thing that its packaging is just simply trash but the product is really good. But you know it's really expensive it's like $50 Canadian plus taxes so I would not want its packaging to break because I lost a lot of product and it literally like ruined my makeup bag because um, it like leaked all over i think i lost almost half of the product so i think for my foundations i don't mind having like three foundations at a time but i think two are working really well for me but yeah i don't want to go over let's say five foundations oh and i forgot to mention this product this is another foundation that i have it's from my glam treat love care age defying foundation i haven't used it <laughs> even a single time like i haven't even opened it up so that is that so when it comes to powder i have four of them actually five but i had two of the essence powders and i used a lot of like the other setting powder from here i think it was the white one so its packaging broke and i literally pressed the other one <laughs> i mean i just pressed two powders together and this is almost done 
the other product is the sample size from Paprika One Size Beauty. I haven't used it still, like it's in translucent. And then I have another sample from MAC. I think it's their HD Pro setting. Yeah, it's Studio Fix Plus Foundation. Okay, it seems like it's a foundation. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use it as a powder. So I haven't gotten around using these two because I know like I can go through them pretty easily. And the next powder I have is from BH Studio Pro. It is a little bit maybe a lot darker for me right now maybe it's going to work best for me when i'm like a little bit more tanned but yeah i think during winter i can just use it as a bronzer i don't mind having a couple small sizes for like just testing or maybe the sample sizes of powder because i can go through like powders fairly easily but yeah i think two powders are gonna just work fine for me Oh, and I have one of this loose powder poured into a container. It was from Lakme, but yeah, it leans a lot on the pinkish side. I mostly use it for Franken purposes. The next category we have is my highlighters. I don't even use highlighters on the daily basis, and yet I have five of them. First highlighter we have is this uh, highlighter from Becca. It's their classic highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. I have used it a ton in the past. I think I just need to wait to get into my highlighter phase again. And then the, and then the next highlighter we have is from Becca again. It is, I guess, in the shade Vanilla Quartz. And then this is the highlighter from Essence. I totally bought it just because how hyped it was. I haven't used it still. Like, it's still sealed. And then there is this highlighter from e.l.f. Mini Duo. It's pretty, but it's way too intense on my skin. It just leaves tiny glitter particles on the skin. And this is the liquid highlighter from Becca. It's very tacky. I honestly have used it like as a base, <laughs> just as uh, an illuminating primer thingy. But yeah, I think... I think that's how I'm gonna use it up that way because right now I'm not using highlighters at all. The next category is blushes. I have only two brushes that are actually blushes. These two are my Franken blushes that I made using my eyeshadows. I think I filmed making these two blushes. I will link the videos down below and the other two blushes I have is the one from Milani. It's in their classic shade called luminoso this is how it looks like uh yeah i have some uses on it but i haven't used it a lot of this one because i'm focusing on finishing this blush which i think it's gonna last me probably two years well maybe at least a year this blush i have is from elf's pomegranate too it's a pretty blush i really like it for cream blushes i only have one from milk and it is in shade work I am still not comfortable using cream blushes or bronzers. I haven't used it even once. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna like use this. Maybe I'm just gonna focus on my powder blushes first and then get to using this one. The next category is bronzers. So I have currently two of them. One is from e.l.f. in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And the other one is from NARS. It's their classic Laguna bronzer. I have used this bronzer once or twice, I think, and I have used this e.l.f. one maybe 9 to 10 times, not sure. I'm currently using an eyeshadow in one of my palettes as a bronzer. I really like that shade on me. So once that eyeshadow is done, then I'll probably move on to one of these bronzers. Its shade is really pretty for me. It has slightly cooler undertones or it leans a little bit on the pinkish side of undertone which i do not prefer i prefer warmer undertones over the cooler ones for face spray or mist i only have this spray from essence i i don't use setting sprays i mean i have only used it probably three to four times ever since i got it i think i'll just probably use this to wet my eyeshadows i don't use lip liners a lot but still i somehow managed to accumulate 
six of them and my goal for them is not to have any duplicates i think currently i have these two eyeliners oh, sorry lip liners that are really similar to each other so yeah i would like to get this one done sooner and also this one because this is probably really old all right so for lipsticks i have a total of 28 of them this one is a lip gloss and this is the only lip gloss i have so i just counted it alongside my lipstick because it has a lot of pink tint i did declutter my lipsticks last year and i think i need to do a declutter again because some of them are getting really really old and i don't use them anymore for eye primer i have this one from nyx it's their glitter glue holy oh my god it broke oh my god i don't know how i'm gonna use it for eyeliner pencils i have six of them two of which are the white ones it is coppery bronze color and these three are all the colors in black it leans a little bit on the charcoal side and its shade is called charcoal as well but these two are like true blacks and my goal for them is not to have any duplicate colors like let's say i have two of the black ones and i mean this just serves as a black pencil i would like to only have one eyeliner pencil in the same color for liquid eyeliners i have five of them and i have one gel slash cream eyeliner from elf i don't use it on my eyes i have just kept it for any sort of halloween looks i've only used it on my face so far this eyeliner is from l'oreal i think i haven't used this in a long time either it gives a glossy black finish and i prefer a rather matte finish i have used a lot of it i think i am nearly at the end of finishing it up and i'm currently using this eyeliner it's my current fave from elf and i haven't opened it up yet because i just want to finish these two guys first and then we'll jump on to this one um it's from faces canada magnet dies and this one is from nyx it's in the color yellow it was in my labor of love project pen where i have to use it 10 times i really liked creating fun looks with this one but it's so hard to get off of your eyes i mean i had to rub my eyes back and forth uh so yeah i just don't like it for that reason but overall it's a nice eyeliner and my goal for eyeliners is just to have one liquid eyeliner per shade and I have come to realize that I don't really like uh, colorful eyeliners in the liquid form. So I'd rather not buy them in future. And the last category we have are my mascaras. I currently have three of them, but I have only this one opened. It's from Essence a Lash Princess Lime. I prefer the purple one more. Uh, I'm almost done with this one. I just removed it's a stopper today so i think it's going to be gone very soon i have not opened this milk makeup mascara neither have i opened this my glam mascara from Manish Malhotra. like it says brand i'm just using one mascara at a time and my goal is just to have one mascara at most two like if i'm mixing them one is for volume and the other one is for lengthening purposes those are all the makeup products I have on me right now. I might have a couple lipsticks missing because I can't find my KVD uh, Lolita lipstick. But yeah, it's not exceptional. I mean, everyone seems to love it, but I have quite a few of other lipsticks that kind of have the same sh or similar shade. So yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out a lot. Thank you so much for watching today's video and sticking with me until the end. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video. Bye. Take care.